let me just explain that I started out my morning by getting vomited on. Projectile vomited. There's at least four ounces of milk in that. Like, holy cow. I didn't even know he contained that much. It was horrible. Anyway, so that's how I started my morning. But I would like to just do my rants <laughs> about judgment moms. <laughs> like, okay. So before I had kids, I had worked for years as a preschool teacher and worked with kids for years, okay? Years and years and years. So I really thought, thought that kids' behavior was 100% the parents. I don't know, the, the parents' like job to fix, like kids at their fits in stores. And, and then um, God humbled me a million times over and gave me Porter, who I love so dearly, but he's hard. I realized from day, actually before he was even born, he had his own personality. So I was fighting this, I, I'm still fighting this, 100% personality kid, like straight up. He's got, his personality is strong, he is bullheaded, he is opinionated, which will serve him so well when he's older, if he makes it, um, <laughs> to either, Oh, did I see? It was a meme on Facebook. It was either to lead the mafia or to be a CEO of a company, which I totally agree with because that is my kid. So <laughs> I got this kid that's extremely strong-willed and he, one of the best lessons he taught me was I was trying to do my best and every mom is trying to do their best no matter what it is we're all trying to do our best. So when I see moms judge other moms, it's really hard for me because you don't know. You don't know the full story. You don't know the 100% um, of everything because you don't know that my son is throwing a gigantic fit in the store and that's my 12th fit I've dealt with that day. And you don't know that I go back to my car. Oh, jets because I live here. Um, you don't know I go back to my car and I cry. You don't know that about me. Um, unless you watch me on YouTube or know me personally. So you don't know these things. You don't know how hard it is for me. I had a mom the other day tell me like you're doing a great job just so you know and it made my day because I'm trying. I am trying. You don't know anything about me. You don't know how hard it is for me. You don't know that I am fighting depression and suicidal thoughts. You don't know I have severe anxiety and even me taking my children out in public, which I'm trying to do to fight the depression, causes the anxiety. You don't know. So moms, we got to stop. We got to start sticking up for each other because you may have that perfect child, that child that sits in the shopping cart and is sweet and loving. Um, you may have the best child in the world, or you could have a kid that's just like mine that causes me to lose my mind and <laughs> causes me to rethink that I have a bachelor's degree working with children. And I look at my child and go, I don't know what I'm doing almost daily. You don't know that I've read like seven parenting books, seven parenting books since I've been a parent, not even before the ones before that I read tons of books like that. You don't know these things. And I don't know about other moms. I think the best thing I ever did was become a mom because it made me realize that I've got to stop judging. I have to. I have to stop judging if people decide to let their kids sleep with them or co like, I don't care. I don't care what you do because I'm just trying to make it in my own life. I get how people can forget about their children. Like totally get it because I almost forgot my dog in the car the other day and went out there and went, I'm so sorry, Zoe. Like I was getting two children out of the car, grabbing all my bags out of the car. I had to run in to keep my house clean to show it. Your mind is running a million miles per minute. So I get how moms can make mistakes. I make mistakes daily, daily. I get how moms can scream, yell. I get how moms can even decide not to be in this world anymore.
or abandon their kids because I have moments and thoughts like that regularly. So instead of mom shaming when a mom does something wrong because she's probably guilty enough or her conscience is on top of her, why don't we stand up for moms? Why don't we look at each other and go, I know you're trying to do your best. And yes, there are moms in this world that aren't doing their best or aren't even trying to do their best. But I'm talking about the moms, the moms like me and the moms like you, who daily are struggling and fighting who are looking at themselves and going, I am a failure because you're not, you're not a failure. You're just trying. And the more times that I get told in a grocery store, you're doing a good job. That's going to make up for the times that I have those thoughts in my head that I'm a failure. It's gonna make up for it or it's gonna make up for the thoughts of maybe you shouldn't even be in this world because you fail your child all the time maybe that one message somebody posts on Facebook of you're doing a great job or I love how you do this when you parent will make up for all those negative thoughts that we already have. So, let's be the moms that we're trying to be, but let's more importantly be the women that we need to be for other people. No more judgment, no more spreading it, no more crap, no more how dare they. Let's, let's be something better because honestly, I think as women, we can be the strongest group or we can rip each other to shreds and I don't want to be that. We need each other and I'm ready to start needing effort. other people. I need other people. I'm weak why I post my crap that happens to me because then other moms say oh my gosh this happens to me all the time and I'm so glad I'm not alone I'm so glad I'm not the only one that probably got projectile vomited on this morning <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not the only mom that has yelled at her child because you've asked them to clean up the same things 12 times or you turn around and they have now made a giant mess all over things stained things ruined things and you lose it you lose it I'm glad I'm not the only mom because if I was it'd be it so let's stand up for each other we need each other oh we need each other I need you I need you come join my Instagram I post pictures all the time of me with throw up on me <laughs> we need to be honest with each other we need it I need you guys to be honest with me and tell me I'm not alone because you're not, you are not the only mom that struggles.